actions have changed the world. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the world of assassination and the trending contracts. And today's contract, wow, toilets are dangerous, 18, set on Haven Island. And the contract ID is on the screen now for anyone who wishes to have a crack at it, and has been supplied to us today, courtesy of EMZ Hitgal. So moving on to our briefing, who'd have thought toilets were so deadly? Help these people find out why 47. I hope you enjoy it. And moving on to our targets, and today we have five of them. All must be eliminated via a drowning accident that we can wear any disguise we see fit. So for today's challenge we'll be starting at the resort pool and we'll be bringing with us some coins, an Agmetic Gas Grenade and our Seeker 1. So right from the start and off the bat we're gonna drag ourselves out of the sun chair there and make our way to the restaurant and bar building and beneath those buildings we will find the bathrooms and we're gonna head into the first cubicle here and we're gonna set ourselves a coin trap so selecting our coins place one maybe two coins on the floor generally I like to place two so here is one of our targets although we're not gonna get this guy first we're gonna traumatize him before we eliminate him our first two targets will be the young ladies next door in the other bathroom so when the gentleman heads back upstairs we're gonna overflow the sink that will get the attention of one of the young ladies and when she comes in to investigate she will be distracted from the sink by the shiny coin on the floor and it will lead to her doom and then the other young lady will then get distracted by the sink so I would say I'm gonna reintroduce you to your breakfast but it doesn't look like you've had any so one target down and as we just collect up our coins as we will be using them again uh, we'll leave the sink running that will attract the attention of our young victims colleague and we're just going to wait outside of the bathroom area uh, she will come along she will discover her friend she will go and get a guard who will come and take the body away and then someone will turn off the sink and then and only then we will then return to the cubicle to reset our trap once again waiting for the gentleman here to head upstairs and from this point on he will be the one to discover all of the bodies so once he has left we can overflow the sink make our way out of the cubicle that will attract the attention of the young lady feeling sorry for herself in the bathrooms next door and she will come in to investigate just like her friend did only moments ago and she will fall into the same trap of shiny coin on floor so head down toilet again not entirely sure you've had any breakfast or any food at all for the last several days and away you are dealt with so just like before once again we're going to collect up our coins we're going to leave the sink overflowing and make our way back outside and when the gentleman who frequents the bathroom returns he will find the body he will call a guard the guard will remove the body someone will stop the sink from overflowing and we can then move on to our next target 
who should be at this point leaning just against the fence here so we're going to make our way into the bushes behind him pull out our seeker one shoot him in the back with our seeker one and he will then make his way to the same cubicle that we've been using all along there are four toilet cubicles in this area but everyone seems to like this first one on our left hip this one must be the most fragrant so we're going to make our way into the bathroom just a little way ahead of our target and when he comes in to be sick we can then follow him into the cubicle and we can reintroduce him to his breakfast and I would assume there would be some meat involved in that one so three targets now taken care of uh, again we're gonna have to have his body discovered so on with the sink and we will plant ourselves back outside and wait for the body to be discovered and removed this time we're not going to wait underneath the building we'll wait right here on the path because when the coast is just about clear our next target will be sitting on the bench just behind us just as he's about to leave uh, everyone should have their backs to us at that point and we can then launch our gas grenade at our victim and as you can see the guard is still cleaning the floor in the cubicle he should be finished any second now so we have just about time this right otherwise we would have had to have waited for our target to go through his entire routine and come back around so once everybody has vacated the bathrooms all we have to do is reintroduce our target to his breakfast and then bounce his head off the side table there and for the last time today we can overflow the sink and we can wait outside and this time we will wait under the building yet again as our final target is the poor gentleman who we've been leaving to find all of the bodies so again once everybody has been cleaned up and moved away we can then make our way for the last time into the bathroom and reset our coin trap once more and eventually our last target will make his way down here and for probably the first time in what would feel like forever he's not going to discover a body in the cubicle in fact he's going to discover a nice shiny coin so we overflow the sink so that when he comes in he will be distracted by it probably expecting the worst and when he comes yeah. to the door he is pleasantly surprised to find not a body but a flamingo so we're going to reintroduce him to what i assume from all these trips to the bar is a liquid lunch and we are five targets down so all that's left for us to do is to make good our escape and the nearest available safe exit is the dinghy exit just outside of the toilets so there we go one more trending contract taken care of and we have confirmation all of our targets have been eliminated according to plan and we get our silent assassin rating I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.